Hi, YouTube. I'm back once again. I just wanted to show you all some of the new things that I've made since we last talked. I'm a very creative person, and once I turn turn it back on the switch on, it just energizes me. So, but that's the way I made my money, being creative. I is I I, I had jobs, but I couldn't stay on my job in more than two years. I'd be so bored and I'd have to go out and do stuff. So uh, that's my spirit. But this is my latest endeavor. These are wands. You could call them magic wands, but you are the one that determines if it's magic or what. This is a, it, these are made out of tree branches this one is purple, and they all have a hook where you can hang them on the wall because you want to take care of your wand. You don't want to just throw it under the bed or on the table. It needs to have its own place in your home. This one is made out of crystals, and it has the beads at the, around the base of it and the fall leaves, the oak leaves. This particular wand is $15, has a emoji bag at the end of it, and it says, your wish is my command. And it's a soft grip, so you could just hold your wand. And this, this does not come off. I mean, you can take it off if you just pry it off, but it's glued on. But this is the first wand. Carefully put them down. This is the second wand. It has the cowrie shells all along the face. And you see how it has the uh, glitter kind of rubbed in. It also has the hook. Mm hmm has a face and this is all natural this is a, an acorn I, to find this acorn I had to go maybe 20 miles away to find these this type of acorn but around the head it's just regular acorns you see all around there he also he she kind of she kind of he kind of looks like a lady girl. Huh? Look at that. <laughs> Got a smile. But it has the um, oak leaves around it. But each wand is unique. There's no two wands alike. This wand is called Diamond. My friend Harold named her a diamond. <laughs> she has a heart right there around the neck and beads around the diamond. You see? Beautiful. And the, ba the base of the wand has a goldish sheen on it and it has glitter, diamond star glitter all around the base of it. There's an eye on both sides. It's like, I see, I see what you need. And look at the little, the little crystals going down different increments around it. And then here's the, the mojo bag to grip with. This is a nice, all of my nice, but this is a heavy stick. And this this type of wand is forty dollars. Remember, each one is different because I'm not making them out of a dowel. These are made out of tree branches, and we don't break a branch off of a tree. These are branches that are that are fallen and this time of the year, it's plentiful. It's just uh, 
branches everywhere. And I just, I get addicted when I do that. I, I'm driving and I'm looking and I see some and I have to pull the car over and pick them up. It's, I don't know. I have these fetishes and it's, it's about, I have fetishes with old furniture <laughs> laying around on the curb because when I was younger, man, I would have the boys because I always drove a van and we, a uh, cargo van, we I'd make them get out and pick up that old chair, or pick up that old sofa. We'd bring them home, bring them home, and I'd reupholster them during the week. And on the weekends, I'd put that stuff in the front yard, and we'd make us about four or five hundred dollars in the weekend. So that was some good go-to money. But uh, then I have fetish <laughs> with boxes. I mean, it's, I see a box and. I'd be with my son. I said, ooh, that's a good box. And he said, well, ain't no such thing as a good box or a bad box. Leave these boxes alone. So boxes excite me, and I have to just open boxes. Let me, I, I got distracted. Let me finish this. Okay, I showed you one, two, three. Okay, this is, look at, look at him. This wand... I found this stick. This stick came from a tree that had, I would say, fungus or just rotten. That's the word, rotten. And if you look close within there, don't pay attention to the bl the bloody, I mean, the red and the gold is oozing out. But you see how the cracks are in it and all through there? Go down, you'll see all of that. But look, it still has the uh, the uh, the uh, crystal-looking items, not on each little notch. But there, bitty bitty eyes. It's like I see. I'm looking eyes everywhere. And then there's the the hook for hanging. When you go to the head, there's another set of eyes. The eyes are watching, even though you can't even see the eyes. There's one right there. And it has on the outside these uh, crystals all around it. This particular one also sells for $40. This has a leopard handle grip. Leopard fabric. See? Look at them. <laughs> you can feel the power in them. Okay, let me show you the master one. Oh my god. This is a very powerful one. I call this one. The burden of the black man. And he's rep he's representing Shango with his red scarf around his neck. Let me show it to you this way. This particular one is very powerful because I had my sons, I don't know why, they were telling me my son-in-law is from Paris, Texas, about 40 miles from Dallas, maybe 50. That is the, it's one of the most racist town in Texas. But they have hung a lot of black men. I mean, you can look it up in, on Wikipedia. But this particular it came from the tree, the oak tree in the courthouse in Paris, Texas. And I believe the last black man was hung there, I think, in 1920 or something like that. But I asked him to fetch me some sticks from that tree. And that tree is, that oak tree is still there. And the burden of the black man. It is 
generations, generations, the burden, the burden coming over here, the journey across the sea, and the burden from Massa, just burden. But the black, when a black man is burdened, the black woman is burdened also. And we can't carry the black man's burden, but we can help remove it with our hearts and our desires. And this this kind of, uh, I don't know, I want to say superstition, but all of us have something that we have to hold on to to conduct our energy and our prayers and our thoughts through. So a lot of people have rosaries and uh, just talismans and good luck charms. It's just a conduit. And this particular stick is not like you want to go beat up somebody, but this is a, I use this to change my situations and just, just for me to push my energy through because this day and time, we have a lot of things that's going on. And I'm not going to say the burden of the black man is the only thing we are dealing with, but that's, that's, it's really a big burden. But this wand, it sells for $50 because it, it's, it's coming from Paris, Texas. My sons are going there this weekend to bring me as many as they can. It probably be a lot of them since it's fall, but they have to be careful and get in there and get out because, it, like I say, it's racist and you're hanging around at the courthouse. And I don't want them to be down there and they picking up sticks and the police say, I thought it, he had a gun or something. So get in there and get me a few and come out. But that's why this, this is selling for $50 because it's not like I just went around the corner and went to the park and got this stick. That's power, power in these sticks. And we have popular trees and I'm going to be making a whole lot more. And if you want... A wand, and you don't have to be. I can make the burden of the white man, the burden of the Mexican, the burden of a man, and the face doesn't have to be like this. I can make the paint the face any color you like. You tell me what you want, and this is a heavy stick too. <laughs> but we don't want to beat nobody up with it. But yeah, this also has a a hook to hang. This is already sold, and uh, the rest of them, I'm taking them to, uh, uh, I'm taking it to Alabama for our annual, first annual ancestral worship. So, these, this is powerful. Our ancestral worship is very powerful. But uh, be sure to, if you want to buy it, buy a stick. Cash out me and uh, email me first, but cash out me the money. And if you, you know, I don't know. Well, well, yeah, just cash out me what the what you like and what you want, or what kind of what color, because all of them don't have to be painted. A lot of them are just rubbed with a, a wood stain, and just let me know, okay, and. We'll go from there, guys. I have a happy... Oh, I wanted to show you guys my shirt. Oh, I think it's so pretty. Let me stand up. Look at it. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? The black woman with the afro and a, little, a few beads around her neck. I am so happy with this little shirt. But anyway, we'll see you in Alabama next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>